subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends. So in this video we discuss how to configure a FTP shower on Windows 10 machine. So you can use the same techniques to configure the FTP server on Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating system. So basically we will use the FTP server to save the files between some remote computers. So first of all we need to install if a role on our on our computer. So I'm going to open my control panel. Open your control panel, go to pro, uh, uninstall a program and here choose this turn windows feature on and off. And here we need to install a role. So scroll down and expand this internet information service and enable this FTP server. Okay. And inside this we need to enable another like management tool, web management tool. Okay. So it will take few few minutes to complete this installation. Now it's installed. Close. Now let's verify. So type here IIS internet information service manager and open this so you can configure ftp service using this interface so before configuring ftp service we need to do some tasks so first of all i'm going to create a user so open your cmd with administrative privilege so right click and run as administrator and here we create a new user account and we allow that user account to access that FTP folder. So command will be net user and I'm going to use a username like admin and password will be like abc12345. Okay. Enter. So we got an error user name could not be found. We need to create a, a new user. So you need to add a switch here add slash add so now this command has been successfully completed let's verify so you can use net user so you can find your username here admin now after this we create a folder so i'm going to create a folder in my directory so here on my c drive i'm going to create a folder a new folder like ftp and on this folder we are going to provide the permissions so go to property security edit and here add your add your admin user admin check name okay and provide your permissions like i want to allow the full control for admin user <coughs> apply okay okay now go to your IS manager, expand this, expand from here, expand again, right click on this site and click a add FTP site here. And you can use any name like FTP server. You specify your physical path. So our physical location will be this FTP directory that we created on our C drive. Next, assign an IP address. So you can use your IP address in your computer. So I'm going to all assigned IP address. So every IP that are assigned on this machine, this FTP server will work on all IP address. And here your FTP port number. Okay. If you want to configure some type of SSL, you can configure here. So I'm going to configure without any SSL certificate. So no SSL. Next, you can enable the authentication. So I'm going to enable a basic authentication. If you check this anonymous, so user can, without any authentication, can access your folder. So I'm going to configure the basic authentication. 
define your access so a specified user and type your username here admin and provide the permission so i want to assign the read and write permission finish now it's done now we need to open this port number 21 on your firewall so you have two options you can turn off your firewall or you can open a port on your firewall so let me check firewall.cpl and currently my firewall is in turned off state okay now let's verify so first of all i'm going to check on the same machine so let's check what is our ip so ip is ip config our ip is 200.138 i'm going to my computer ftp colon slash slash 192.168.200.138 okay yeah it's working so type your username here admin and your password let's try to create some folder okay like test Let's try to write some files here. Mm, let's try to upload these two files. Okay, so like that you can upload or you can download the files. Let's try to access this folder from another machine. So I'm going to my Windows 7 machine. Let's try to access the FTP. FTP colon. 192.168.200.138 admin the password and we are logged in okay let's try to upload some files okay so like that you can configure a ftp server on your windows 7 windows 10 windows 8 machine okay Thank you so much for watching this video, like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates.